everybody, and welcome back to uh, Falcon Plays uh, Neil Scavenger. Now, uh, I left the episode off last time saying whether we would fight this man or not. Obviously, I'm just going to retreat because I'm a coward. No, that's not true. I'm going to actually fight this guy for one particular reason. I was told that when I'm fighting people, I'm being too aggressive. Um, essentially, I should treat this like chess and not like checkers. Uh, you know, that was a great quote by a famous philosopher named uh, Denzel Washington. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of him. But essentially, uh, I'm taking too much of an aggressive uh, approach. When I should just be doing like parrying and dodging, etc., etc., to kind of send them off balance, and then I could do my own t attacking. So, with that in mind, let's see if I could um see what Lure does. Tries to use the environment against the target. Moves one space away from the target. Chance to knock down target and make them lose one turn. That sounds pretty good. So let's go ahead and lure this guy. See what happens. Ah, uh, Bandit needs a moment. Okay, player is exposed, easy for attack. Bandit needs a moment to recover before acting again. Bandit's upper left arm was scratched. Good. And the Bandit is bleeding now. Excellent. Now, this dude is in a bit of trouble now. I'm gonna charge towards him. And now, I'm gonna go ahead and try to parry his attack, if so. Alright, and the Bandit is parrying as well, so uh, neither one of us did anything there. So let me see if I could just, uh, no, don't do that. Let's go with another parry. Alright. Player parries the bandit's attack. Bandit desperately retreats from player. Yeah, he fucking ran off, bitch. Alright, go ahead and run off. Go away. So, there you go. A little bit more defensive this time, but probably a little bit better off as well. Now, in this area, let's go ahead and scavenge here what we have. A destroyed office building and a crumbling apartment building. These are terrifying just because, um, they could fall apart on you and hurt you. Ah, let's see. You decided to check a crumbling apartment building. It's a mess inside. Broken bricks lay on piles. Bits of glass thrown everywhere like glittering dust, water stains, and dead leaves litter the outer edges of the building. Alrighty. Um, it doesn't seem like there's much of a chance for loot as well. At all, as a matter of fact. I'm not too crazy about my safety either, so... Yeah, you know what? Let's be ballsy about this. I found something. Good. And I found shit. Saltine crackers. I guess I'll take that if I get hungry. Am I hungry now? And yeah, no, I'm seeing like I'm pretty good. Alright, I'll take the saltine crackers. Other than that, everything else here is shit, though. Oh, hey, I got a recipe, though. Scrap of paper. It reads one plier, one Phillips head screwdriver, one mechanic skill, four caster wheels, one large fireproof basket, 16 small mechanical parts, and one shopping cart frame. I guess this is a way for me to make a shopping cart, obviously. Named by the title right there. Um, wow. Well, it seems like I'm gonna need a lot of fucking items for this, so I don't see that happening anytime soon. Not at least carrying everything, I'd have to go to a base and drop stuff off and hopefully it doesn't get looted. Alrighty, um... I kinda wanna take that bottle though. Uh, just because I feel that... Alright, you know what, this rifle shoulder strap, uh... 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 Feel foolish kinda leaving this behind as a matter of fact. I, I'm... Me. I'm gonna have to leave you behind, I apologize. I'm gonna have to take this with us, as a matter of fact, just because, uh, I feel that no. No, stop it. Alright. Turn this aside, alright, there you go. Um, and unfortunately for the scrap of paper, I cannot take it with us, not without actually... Okay, let's just eat the saltine crack. Now here's the pro... Now this recipe, it just instantly, it's instantly learned, right? I don't have to, uh take it with me or anything like that, so let's confirm this. Uh, let me check out my crafting menu, no one recipes, uh, shopping cart, yeah, I already know it, so fuck it, I don't need to take it with me. Alright, so now we have one more thing to scavenge. Now, this one was also falling apart. Alrighty, and it's likely much uh, survived in its collapse, the creaking walls and ceilings are no boost to your confidence either, still not... Still, that may mean no one is brave enough to perhaps, or desperate enough to go in there. Okay, so, the loot doesn't seem that good, sneak and safety in the yellow, but you know what? Um, let's just go with... Wow. Let's go with Strong, see what happens. And I did find another sled, it seems. I did. <laughs> well, it's not going to really do much for me, though. Okay, uh, more water bottles, unfortunately, are empty as well. Let's see, another, uh, something fishing. We're going to read this one. And more dirty rags. So let's see if we could combine this together. We can. Um, and that's about it. That's as far as we're going to get here. Yeah. Alright guys, so let's just get on out of here. Nothing really of too much importance. So we got zero of four moves left here, so let's go ahead and end our turn. Alright, good. So now we have a new fresh turn. So let's go jump. There's a shack over on the off over here. Let's go check that out. Before that, let's scavenge this area. Let's check out this stretch of forest here. 
All right, the stretch of forest seems to almost flourish in the absence of human life. There's a good chance one could find food and raw materials in here if they knew what to look for. Just watch out for the creatures that make the forest their home and hunting ground. So with botany, we could get a lot. With strong, we could get shit. So let's go with botany for sure. Oh, we got found some water. Good. All right, so now we could definitely fill up our water bottles like so. And I haven't... Well, can I just do that from in there? Yeah, alright, cool. So now we have two full bottle of waters to take with us, so we won't be able to die from high, you know, dehydration. I was told now that I could do some funky stuff with the crafting menu and water, so let's see if I put water in here. What happens then? I was told that I forgot exactly what exactly I was told, but they told me that I could use water in the crafting menu for something or another? I mean... Take? Drop? No? Two waters? Three waters. <laughs> it's not really working, botany. Melee. Uh, melee, not Pele. Ah, uh, tough. Nope. Strong? Nope. Trapping. How about you, trapping? I feel like I'm saying coughing when I say that. Trapping, coughing. Alright, wait, it doesn't seem like it's doing anything for me in reality. Uh, let's see. Botany, go back in here. Strong. Eagle eye. All right, how about this? How about we go ahead and, uh... Well... They're not empty, though, are they? No, they, they shouldn't be empty. All right, let's get on out of here really quickly. How about we're gonna do this instead? I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna now drink the water that we have. It might as well just hydrate completely. There you go. And now we're gonna refill this shit. There you go. And it seems like I could probably hydrate once more, so let's go ahead and drink some more water. Good. And now fill this up. There you go. You're gonna use all the goddamn water there. Instead of leaving some for later, basically, why leave for tomorrow what you could do for today? <laughs> really bad uh, use of an uh, idea there for when you're trying to survive, but it's fine. So this is gonna end our turn right here. And there's a melon head in the mist here, and players' painkillers are wearing off. That's a shame. So to be medicated a bit longer, man. Alrighty, so that's nothing. It seems like there's nothing here. Is there red berries that are edible? Go ahead and eat them. Good. Thank you. Now let's jump over. I see a shack off over here. So let's uh, a shack off, not a jack off. All right. And anything here? Well, more water. So let's go ahead and uh, drink this and fill this up. Alrighty. Well, you know what? I feel like I'm doing a bit better in terms of uh, actually uh, surviving <laughs> to a degree. More water here in case, uh, I don't need it just yet, though, so. How are we doing in our injuries? Not too bad. Okay, and just get on out of the item screen. Let's end our turn, and we'll check out that cabin in the next turn and see what is what. Alright, there's our turns back, and jump over here. Oh, there's a few little areas we could check out as well. Cool. So let's scavenge this stuff out of here. Another shack. Alrighty, before being far removed from the urban centers, right, right. You know, you could find some stuff, or it could be the hideout of a militia leader, etc. We already know this. So, strong will give us good loot, but sneak's gonna drop a bit. No, uh, let's go with strong, might as well. I found something. What did I find? I found another shoulder rifle strap and berries. So, let me go ahead and eat the berries, and that's pretty much it in reality. Um, how are we doing, oh? Well rested. Can I... I could I can't use this as a campsite though. Mm, doesn't seem like it. Mmm, how is our fatigue bar? Doesn't seem too bad. Uh let's go ahead and sleep here. Alrighty, and doesn't seem like we slept much. Oh yeah, right, because I'm an insomniac. <laughs> I forgot that's what happens. That's one of the negative traits about that. Alright, so let's just continue onward then. Let's go on with the city. Oh shit. Well, hello there, bandits. Alrighty, so get on out of here. Nothing in this here, and anything here. Oh, shit, there's a lot of them here. Alright, check out the menus here, and pebbles. We don't really care about pebbles, and jump over to this section. Alright. Um, I suppose I could probably try to... Nah, uh, hide somewhere, but... Instead, let's just scavenge, and let's see what we can find in this abandoned house. The suburbs were hit hard in the collapse, with masses of people fleeing urban centers in search of supplies and supernatural threats encroaching from the wilds. The suburbs became the front lines in a war for survival. Still, houses like this are so numerous that have been entirely missed by scavengers, and they tend to be less likely to fall over than the bigger buildings in urban centers. Alright, so, 
our loot chance isn't here that great initially. If I use strong, it probably is. It's gonna alert people. Oh, the roof collapse is even worse. The unstable ruins, st uh, ruins start falling as a result of your rummaging and a portion of the roof collapses. You are cut and bruised by the fallen breeze and no useful items were found. That's a fucking shame. Alrighty, um, let's see here. Let me wrap my head with these dirty ass rags. Do that right there. And do that right there. Alright. So I'm a little bit fucked up right now, but <laughs> what can you do? Alright, get on out of here. And it seems like there's nothing much else to do here. I gotta end my turn now. I have no choice. This guy's gonna come probably come after me. And he did. He has nothing really of interest, though. Um. Well. Let me just go ahead and retreat. And I was able to retreat. There's really no reason to fight this man right now. So let me just jump over here and jump into this shack. I can't do it, unfortunately. So let's just go ahead and end our turn. Oh, no. <gasps> Enfield Horror. I've never fought this thing before, I don't think. I... Okay, uh, I... Hmm. Well, uh, Lee and or Ian Field Horror, I have a fucking Dogman suit on, so you might want to think twice, actually. I, I want to really get into that shack, so I I'm going to actually fight him. And hopefully it's for the best. And now he is, uh, he's searching. He's scanning the area for targets. Must not see the target yet. Oh, he can't see me. It doesn't seem like he can see me. All right, is that the case? Take cover, maybe? Okay, cool. He's gone now. That <laughs> worked out. So let's scavenge this shit out now. Strange, uh, strange shut, alright. Oh, uh, store sheds are mixed bags, often, yeah, 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 alright. Salute so slow. Let's check out strong. And I actively, I, you know, basically alerted that guy back to my place. But that's fine, because I found a fucking meat cleaver. So let's say crowbar, fuck you. Let's take the meat cleaver. And water. Uh, use the water here that we found. Cool. And let's see, what else can we scavenge here? There's a lot more scavenge though, isn't there? It seemed like there was. That's because my turns are over. Okay, well, they're gonna come right after me right now. Unfortunately, hopefully they can fight each other instead. Yeah, go ahead and fight each other. Leave me the fuck alone, and you guys fight. Now let's scavenge these, uh, the stretch of forest here. Botany. No useful items were found, and that's pretty much my turn. Uh, all these guys are all around me right now, it's kind of really worrisome. As night falls, you notice there is a bright glow coming from the east. Easily visible through the tree jobs, there's no guarantee, but it could be a sign of civilization, maybe even a late as to where you, or who you are. Alright. So this is basically our main quest, get into that area. Um, unfortunately, we're kind of way off, because uh, we're going opposite of east right now. So let's go ahead and scavenge this area one more time and see what this stretch of forest has for us. And it doesn't seem like there's much, honestly. I slipped down a slope. While extending a steep slope, you lose your footing and slip uh, most of the way to the bottom. It bruised you a bit, but thankfully the worst of it is lost progress. Alright, let's check out our health again. I'm fucking myself up a lot here. It's really bothering me. Alright, let's go ahead and end our turn as we're here hanging out in the middle of the night. Kind of want to go back to the cryo facility and sleep, honestly. So let's check out this last bit of forest here. Honestly, it's been a, like a really disastrous whole area. And no useful items. Let's end our turn again. How are we doing... Well fed, well hydrated, okay. Ah, uh, let's just go ahead and, uh, I guess rest and heal. And, uh, alright, rest and heal a bit, see if that does anything for us. I just want nighttime to pass. Alright, Ams, we were sleeping, this, or resting, this fucker decided to come after us. He's blind, though. <laughs> and he's got a crowbar himself, so I suppose he could just take cover. Yeah. He's blind. What the fuck is he gonna do? Alrighty, our, our, uh, the outdoor temperature is falling quite a bit because it's raining, but at least it is uh, finally not completely pitch black here. So let's jump upwards, and there's another derelict check thing we could check out there. Player is thirsty. Really? Okay. Well, good thing we have water here. Oh, oh. what? Oh man, we just found a dead person just lying here. Okay, so let me take the shoes for first and foremost, and let's put some pants on as well. Hell's... Oh, wait. Why can't I put pants on if I'm wearing the dogman suit? That doesn't even make any sense. Pants? There we go. Alright. Oh, and there's a lighter in here. Sweet. Another shopping bag, and... Alright, good. This is good. And... A Gary's by Boris Edible, so let's go ahead and eat this. Probably a little bit hungry now. And now we're completely... Well, it seems like we're pretty good hydrated now. Uh, use that. 
Good, alright, good. Good, good. Uh, we're gonna definitely check that corpse out. Was that the corpse of the dude that we, uh, hit from? He had a crowbar, and this body seems to have a crowbar. Okay, that's kind of really weird. Let me see crafting menu. Um... Can I... Can I cut this person up? Oh! <gasps> oh no! Okay. For a second, I thought it was gonna be like fucking Leatherface and just trapping to skin him alive as well and take his skin. I could take his meat though and I could be a cannibal. Oh man, that's a little bit. It's a little bit <laughs> worrisome. I don't, I don't want to be a cannibal just yet. Uh, it seems like I'm well fed still. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to check the corpse out. That's that's scary though. Destroy the corpse. Destroy. <laughs> okay, I destroyed the corpse. Uh, I don't want to go down that route. I don't want to give myself a temptation there and be like, well, there was that sweet, delicious human meat back there. Let me scavenge this open field. That was terrifying. I didn't know you could do that. It's pretty cool in a sadistic type of way. All right, we found a lot of stuff here, primarily water, which is good because we need water. So let's go ahead and uh, hydrate completely because we have a lot of water here for us. So let's go and put that in there. Can I just drink the water straight up? I can. That would probably be easier. Good, so we're completely hydrated and our bottles of water are filled up, man. How are we doing? A handful of poison berries? I'm not going to eat that. Let's go ahead and eat as well. Get some food in us. Because of our metabolism skill, it takes us a bit longer to actually... Oh, shit! <gasps> I just ate some poisonous mushrooms. Why? I thought they were the same ones. All right, don't eat those. Hey, okay, let's eat these, though. So. Yeah, because of my... uh, Don't eat the poison mushroom. Because of my metabolism skill, it takes me, obviously, uh, or not skill, but my metabolism. Well, I guess it's a skill. I mean, if you eat all the time, you don't get fat. That's, that's pretty impressive, believe me. A lot of people would like to have that trait. All right, so let's go and check out this area here. And uh, let's do the lock storage shed. Unfortunately, I don't have any lock picking, so I can't get in there. And I wonder if I could have gotten in there with a, perhaps with the crowbar. Let me see if I could just break this lock open with my hands. And I alerted the nearby creatures as well, because I'm an imbecile. All right, so let's end our turn here. There's going to be a guy coming out. He's going to walk by. Yeah, you walked the fuck by. <laughs> uh, I've been, like, left alone for the most part. It seems kind of weird. All right, a concrete building. Let's see what happens with strong. Sneak is terrible, but loot's pretty good. And yeah, let's just go with strong and see what happens. No useful items were found, and I alerted nearby enemies. Now, let's check out our map here. We want to get to, obviously back over there and we're pretty far off so let's actually st oh what is this telephone huh okay oh bullets all right let's take the bullets for sure huh telephone huh i wonder what this could be used for well i mean i know what it's used for ideally in our day-to-day -day life but in the game itself <laughs> i'm a little bit perplexed and I could take this whiskey bottle and put some water in there. Or perhaps some alcohol, that would probably be better. But unfortunately, let's just be real here. I'm not likely to find alcohol. So that's fine. Cool. We're done. Uh, get out of here. And let's actually start moving towards the big light in the city. We haven't done that at all. So let's try to make it our goal now to actually get to the progressive story as opposed to just uh, scavenging around completely here. And what do we got here? Handful of edible berries. You go ahead and eat all those berries. And these are edible as well. Let's just eat them up until we get filled up. And water, use that as well. Cool. Alrighty. That's good to go. Uh, I think there was one more thing to scavenge here. Another open field. Use botany for sure. And we found a few more berries as well. Uh, just might as well eat them. Be sure to be f completely full before we take off. Alright. Good. Firm that. And, uh, is that, that's our turn? That's our turn. So end our turn here, and that guy's gonna... Two guys. Three guys. Two, well, two guys and a, uh, dog man and a partridge in a pear tree. Uh, let's see here. Range 37. Let's just go ahead and retreat. Okay. Let's proceed down this way, and this way, and... Okay, that's gonna pretty much end our turn. So end our turn indeed. I'm gonna check out this little house over here. I'm not sure if I checked that out before. Alright, scavenge this area here. Cool. Another lock storage shed. That lock making skill could be really useful, unfortunately, but I don't have it. And activity and alert of nearby enemies. Right. Should have known that was going to happen, considering I can't lock pick. Alright, suburban home. 
Well, since I already alerted people to me, let's just use uh, the, the strong and the lighter, see whether we can find anything. Yeah, I know I, I alerted people, that's fine. Scrap of paper, it reads, roasted meat on a stick. Oh, that's not too hard to make, as a matter of fact. I mean, I could go back and skin that human. Actually, no, I can't because I destroyed the corpse. So I won't uh, resort to cannibalism just yet. Uh, heat source, uh, a medium or large shaft. <laughs> uh. Okay, uh, never mind. Uh, let's see, let's continue onward here. So, let's just jump over here and end our turn now. A lot of bandits around us, but they seem to be kind of leaving us alone. Maybe it's this dogman fur coat. They're just kind of like, yeah, I don't want to fuck with the man that killed the dogman with his bare hands. Alrighty, botany. Anything here? Nope, no useful items. And somehow my botany skills alerted people, so that's pretty interesting. Oh, uh, let's go into crafting here. Lake. Okay, that's what they meant then. Not just a water source, but if you find a lake and you go to the crafting menu, it lets you get water. Okay, well that makes fucking sense. Cool, so let's go ahead and do that, uh... How, how do I do that? Uh, stuff above, uh, combo makes not enough moves- Oh, not enough moves left to craft, okay. So let's end our turn, and next turn we'll craft that, and we'll get some water, we'll drink the water. Alrighty, so, um, lake... What? Why is... Why is this body still, um... <laughs> near me? I thought I destroyed it. Can I drown the, the body? No. Okay. Weird. Um, that's good, it seems. Alright, let's get on out of here really quickly and scavenge the open field. Botany here? Okay. That worked out pretty well. Oh, the body was already there. Okay, I thought for some reason I've been carrying a dead body around, which is kind of really freaky, honestly. Let's put on one of this brown- well, actually, can I, I could put on multiple shirts, right, if I remember correctly. Uh, I should be able to, right? Yeah, fuck that, two shirts on. I can't put two pants of Paris jeans, so that's a little silly now, isn't it? Um, what is he- this is a condition 24, and what about my guys? 16, alrighty. So what we're gonna do is take these pants on and put these guys on. I said I'm gonna put these guys on. I said I'm gonna put these guys on. Alrighty, and uh, some painkillers. Put that over there. I don't need that. Scrap of paper with nothing useful on it, and a smartphone bat. Uh-oh. I have- where's my cell phone? <gasps> okay, you. Wait a minute, you. Uh, empty out. Empty out what you got there. Smartphone battery. Wait, what? Go- go together. Go together, I said. I could turn it on. Okay, turn it on. Insufficient charge? Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, put that there, and then battery. No, I don't get what's happening here. <laughs> Why can't I combine them, maybe, from the crafting menu? I'll give it a second and check it out here. So, um, this I wanted to empty out, though, for sure. Empty this out, and, uh, painkillers. Let's go ahead and use some of these painkillers, just in case. And, uh... Edible mushroom, go ahead and eat that. Okay. And another shoe, which I will definitely use. There you go. I I'm pretty tired, though. I need to start resting or think about resting soon. Uh, my lighter stays with me. I guess I don't need that extra bag now. I'll take the cell phone and the battery and hope for the best with this. Alrighty, I think for the most part, uh, we're good, good here. Just eat this. Okay, we're, we're, we're pretty good, I'd imagine. So let's scavenge this field one more time. Use botany for sure. No useful items were found. Alright. So how about this, guys? Let's go ahead and wrap it up right here today. And um, we're still on the same guy. We're still doing progress. We're getting a lot of items. We're getting a lot of cool stuff. We're heading over to the uh, city. So a lot of things are happening finally. And thankfully, using the crafting menu has really simplified things to a degree. That's for sure. Uh, but once again, guys, hopefully you're new to the series. So you're enjoying the series so far, I should say. And if you are, I encourage you to go ahead and click that like button. It's really easy to do. It helps me out. It helps you out. Uh, I'm not sure how it helps you out. Uh, it, it makes me feel better, which maybe makes you feel good. That you make somebody else feel good. And it's like a feel-good convention. <laughs> Sounds kind of really sexual in nature. Either way, um, I will catch you next time.